Hey there, science and cooking. Um, how you doing? Uh, Greg here, one of your TFs, and today I want to talk to you about the equation of the week this week, which is Q equals MC delta T, or as I like to remember it, Q equals M cat. Um, so here's the situation. Oh, by the way, you should be clapping because of that equation. Um, so here's the situation. Um, you and your fancy hair are chilling with your history professor. And your history professor is like, You know what? Would you be a dear and fetch me a glass of chilled whiskey from the refrigerator? And you are like, yeah, I'll take my fine bandana and my belt and I'll run in there and get that for you. So uh, you go into the kitchen to get what he requested and you, uh, you don't have whiskey in the refrigerator but you do have some whiskey cubes that were in your freezer. You're chilling in your freezer. And uh, you have some whiskey that was just sitting on the counter. And you combine these two. And you let, it, let them sit there for a little while so you can cool down the whiskey. And then you take the whiskey cubes out. Um, and you take the whiskey cubes and you bring them back down into... You leave them in the kitchen. So, uh, cause your professor is not gonna want, uh, rocks in his drink, and you know that. Um, and then you take the whiskey and you're like, Oh, professor, here you go, here is your chilled whiskey from the refrigerator. And he's like, you know what? This is the perfect temperature whiskey. If you always bring me whiskey of this temperature, I will give you a grade higher than an A. And you're like, I don't know what that means. But I want that. So you say, oh, that's great. And you say, hold on a second. And you run back into the kitchen. And you're like, okay, uh, maybe if I measure something about these whiskey cubes, then I can uh, figure out later what temperature his whiskey was. Um, so let me just quickly take this thermometer out of my pocket because you have a thermometer in your pocket. And uh, you're like, okay, what's the temperature of these whiskey cubes? And um, so you go, okay, the temperature of them is about... Um, Okay, it looks like it's the thermometer is reading about 10 degrees Celsius, and uh, you're like, then you go back back into uh, back into here, and you hang out with him for the rest of the night and talk about the Byzantine era or something like that. Um, all right, and then the night's over, but then you want to figure out what was the temperature, what was this the temperature of those whiskey. So you want to know what is temperature F for final of the whiskey. That's what you want to figure out. Um, well, it was originally, uh, so, so what else do we know? Okay, so, um, we know that the whiskey was sitting on the counter beforehand, so we also know the temperature, I for initial, um, of the whiskey. It was sitting on the counter, so it was probably room temperature, and room temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius. And um, so, what, what do we know about the whiskey rocks? Okay, so um, you measured what the temperature final of the rocks were. So, um, and that was about 10 degrees Celsius. And also, the uh, temperature of the rocks initially rocks are for rocks is was equal they were in the freezer and freezers are around zero degrees celsius and you're like okay so now i know some stuff about the temperature of these guys um you also happen to know that these whiskey rocks you weigh them and they are about a mass of around um let's say a hundred grams a hundred grams and uh, you know the whiskey that you had lying around because it was, you know, you just know how much whiskey you have lying around. You know the mass of it was about uh, 200 grams. Okay, so now you want to figure out, but you still want to figure out this. You don't know this. Um, okay, so what do you do? Um, okay, oh, we, we can use um, the uh, conservation of energy. We know that any heat that was gained by the whiskey cubes, remember they were cold and then they got warmer, so they gained some um, heat. Um, any um, of that heat was gained from the whiskey, so we'll assume that uh, 
no heat was lost in the air or anything like that. So uh, what that means is that the the heat, which we write by saying Q, Q, uh, uh, that the rocks, um, so this is Q, this is the heat that the rocks gained, is equal to, I'm going to write a negative sign here because this is lost um, by the whiskey. Um, so Q, let's see, of the um, whiskey, so this is how much the whiskey uh, lost because it went from hot to cold. So this is gained by the rocks, lost by the whiskey. And um, then you're like, okay, so uh, let's use this equation. And what else do we know? We also know the equation of the weak. Q equals mc delta t. And we have all the information we need here. Um, so if we plug Q equals m cat into both sides here, then we know we know the masses of both the things. We know the um, the specific heat C for both of them, and we also know most of most of what we need for delta T on both sides. We know delta T for the whiskey cubes because we know the temperature before and after, and delta T is the change in temperature, and we know the temperature um, initially only for the whiskey and we don't know it after so that means we can solve for it okay so let's just do that quickly um, so if we plug into the left here so on the left we have um, the so let's do the mass so the mass of the rocks here is 100 grams multiply that by the specific heat of the rocks specific heat of rocks is about 0.779 and this is uh, in units of joules per grams per Kelvin and then times the delta T which is the change in the temperature and the change in the temperature is the final minus the initial and so that is going to be for the rocks that's going to be 10 and so that is equal to and oh this is a this is so delta t um kelvin and celsius when you're talking about changes uh kelvin and celsius are the same so we can write um kelvin if you have a question about that feel free to email me um so it's 10 degrees kelvin and then um, on the right hand side we have um, a mass of 200 times so this is 200 grams times the spe specific heat of whiskey and whiskey is, um, very, is almost the same as water so that we can say the specific heat of the whiskey is the same as water which is 4 times 4 or 4.1 one eight joules per grams Kelvin. Uh, Kelvin's in the denominator there. And then times delta T. So this is um, delta this is delta T. Okay. And so delta T for the whiskey is going to be um, delta T whiskey is going to be the final minus the initial. So that's question mark so I'll call instead of question mark I'll just call it X minus 20 so this is and so uh, if you pl now plug in X minus 20 into right here and then multiply all these numbers together you'll just have an algebraic equation you can solve for X and then you know what the temperature of your professor's uh, whiskey is um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to email me. Uh, again, this is Greg, and uh, have a good day.